Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be discussing products that made me feel ugly and bad about myself. So, of course, we don't like them. I do hope that you enjoy this. It's a little more negative. If that's not your speed, then you probably won't like this. But if you wanna know the nitty gritty on products that just don't perform well for one reason or another and what my take on it was, then let's just, Let's just get to it. So let's start right here with what is in my hand. This is from Pop Beauty. This is the No Show Concealer. When you read that this is the No Show Concealer, in my brain at least, I think that this is like a double-ended concealing type of a thing. Like this looks very yellow and it says it's a neutralizer, but actually, this is so freaking shiny. When you put it under your eyes, you look like you've taken silver highlighter and smeared it everywhere. It is awful. It wrecked my makeup day. I had to like wipe it off and then I still had remnants of like silver metallicness. It was the weirdest thing for this to be a concealer. And then I thought I would just give the other side a fair chance cause I don't know, why not? And friends, it was equally awful and hard to blend, bunchy, greasy, and just patchy and weird and did not cover the way I need a concealer to cover. So this was one of those items that just, no, 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 did not work out for me and is a strong, hard pass. Now, sometimes when I'm talking about these products, I will mention, you know, this might work for someone with different skin, with different wants, but the fact that there was shimmer in the concealer is just too weird for me to say that many people would enjoy that. I don't know, let me know, what do you guys think? I do like Pop Beauty, nothing against them. They have a lot of great products, as do every other brand that I'm about to talk to, so please also know that I don't hate any of these brands. In fact, I try so much from these brands that I'm able to kind of see where a few things went haywire and didn't work out. All right. Oh God, I really don't wanna talk about this negatively, but I have to, I just have to keep it real. I love Tarte, I think they are a fantastic brand, and this is gonna be one of those that some people absolutely love. Some people love this. I feel like people with more dry skin are the people that love this, but this is an Amazonian clay stick foundation from Tarte, and on me, the problem that I had is I wore this a couple of times, and both times by the end of the day, it didn't didn't matter what kind of primer I used, what kind of powder I used, my whole face was an oil slick and I cannot have that happen. I've been really, really into testing out stick foundations and I love a good stick foundation. I think it gives you great coverage. They're usually more long wearing, they're easy to blend. This one does go on really beautifully and it does blend well, but the greasiness is why I have to say it's a pass for me. If you are drier skinned, you might enjoy this, but I still kind of had this floating around in my drawer and I just wanted to share with you guys. Flower Beauty has these cute little long wear lip creams. Now this color is stunning. This is the shade Pink Bouquet and Flower is affordable. It's available at Walmart. Drew Barrymore is one of the creative directors or she founded the brand. She has her hand in a lot of the product development and she's done such a beautiful job. I have talked about their products for years and years and years. This one is just, it's just weird. It's very, very thick. It looks pretty swatched on my hand, but on the lips, it actually kind of messes around and you have those bald patches. And then it does that weird sticky goopy thing, which I'm not a fan of and I don't think many people are. So this was a pass. Sadly. All right, another lip formula. This is gonna shock you because um, in my favorites, I talked about the Estee Lauder lipsticks that are beautiful. I got a whole pinwheel of color, like a hundred different lip products, and they had glosses, lipsticks that are matte, that are cream, just all this crazy lip product from Estee Lauder. Now, their newer formula on the lipsticks themselves are insane. They are beautiful, creamy, they layer well. You can build them from sheer to full without any patchiness, goopiness, any stickiness, like it just is a dream lip product. They also brought out their version of a liquid lip. It's very similar to the Marc Jacobs liquid lip in the sense that it does not dry down completely matte. It's kind of an in-between 
which still gets everywhere. You get a lot of coverage, it's lightweight. It's just kind of an interesting formula, but this was such a mess on me. It just kind of bled into my um, skin here, moved around too much, and I tried so many different colors wanting this to work. I actually packed a few of these with me on the cruise and I regretted it. I was like, <sighs> Note to self, next time you pack for a vacation, make sure that you are packing products that you aren't trying out for the first time, but stuff that you actually really love because I just was not happy with how these performed. Really strange formula and do we see how kind of like watery it is? It's just a weird gel watery formula that dries down almost matte, but not quite enough to like really seal the deal. It's just very non-committal and because of that, I don't like it. I have a skincare item here that I loved at first. Oh my God, we were just like, we were like this for a minute. And then I started seeing weird things happening to my pores, my pores almost looking bigger, skin texture looking a little rough and I was breaking out. So I just want to let people know that if you have sensitive skin, Bosha products sometimes can be hit or miss. Now I love that Jelly Ball Charcoal Cleanser. I still use that if I have makeup that really needs to be deep cleaned off my skin. It's one of the best makeup removers of life. I will link that video below if you're curious what a Jelly Ball Cleanser is. But this one, the Sabuki Swirl, this is a part gel, part cream lotion. And for summertime, that made sense to me. It's a little bit lighter for daytime. And again, at first I was loving it. Look, I used, I dented it pretty well, but it just started aggravating my skin. So I had to share that with you guys. If you're on the sensitive side, which I am kind of on the sensitive, I'm not super, super sensitive, but enough to notice when products go a little bit weird on me and this one just went kind of weird. We have from Shu Umera. I don't know what the hell this is. Why? I don't really know what they were thinking when they developed this. This is like a, dare I put it on? No, I don't want to do that. This is an eyebrow gloss. It's a classics gold eyebrow gloss. It's literally like putting metallic gold in your eyebrows. I thought it was just an eyebrow gel and I'm doing my makeup. This got sent to me in PR and I'm like, ooh, Shoo Amira, yes, luxury. And I'm just like, do, 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 do. And then I looked and I was like, oh my God, my brows have gold highlights. Not exactly the look I'm going for. If that is the look you're going for, this is the product for you. But if you look at this online and you're like, oh, that's like a really fancy, cool eyebrow gel. Like that looks neat. Just take a breath and move on. All right, I'm gonna stay here for two seconds just because I have to show you guys a tweet that just had me cracking up. Someone said that their Uber app reminded them of the Roller Wheel MAC liner. I am gonna link this video below. This was the most atrocious liner I've ever used and that's saying a lot. I can normally make anything work. I could not make this work. It was not how I was holding it. Like I read the comments and then I was like, Tati, you suck, like try again. And I actually like, when I take off my makeup at night, sometimes I play with other makeup. It's kind of a weird thing that I do, but that's how I kind of squeeze in more product testing time in my life. So I sat down and I was playing with this again and the exact same thing happened. It doesn't matter if you go like this, straight on, up. It just doesn't matter. This wheel on here just does not work, okay? It's just, oh my God, the hardest thing to use. But that tweet was really funny. Okay, I love it when you guys tweet me these things. It really makes my day. It makes me laugh. Something that you guys don't know about me, like my favorite thing to do at the end of the day is not go on Instagram and look at bikini models or people eating green smoothies or whatever else kind of makes you go, ugh. Ugh. because we all do that. We look at these glossy pictures that just kind of in a weird way can make you feel bad about yourself. I don't know if you feel that way. Sometimes I feel that way. That's why I'm not like super overactive on Instagram. It's kind of a, a thing I need to push myself to do more. But anyway, long story short, my favorite thing is looking at memes, is watching funny videos. I just love it. And James and I will sit and like crack up in bed and that's what we do. So whenever you guys tweet me these things, like I share them with James, with my sisters, I will screen grab them and send them in like a group chat. Like I just love it. So keep them coming. Okay. Keep them coming. Um, we have the balm highlight and contour. Cute, cute name very cute name. Um, this 
just is kind of a letdown because the Mary Luminizer is a beautiful highlighter. You go in here into these highlighters and you're kind of like, oh, like this is not as, that looked like I did not even press it in my skin, but this is not as bam highlighty and the contours are really hard to blend. The blush is patchy. These two right here are matte and are more meant for underneath the eye to set things and they just look chalky and I just, I'm not a fan of this, so I thought I'd let you know. The new palette they brought out with their favorites, that gets an A+, I love it. I'll list that below in the comment section. I showed it off in my unboxing. That one I've actually been reaching for a lot. This one, just formulated, it's kind of off. All right, there we have it. Products that didn't work and made me feel like I was having a bad makeup day and brought out insecurity and how I felt my makeup was. If you like these videos and every couple of months you want me to make more, be sure to hit that like button. Um, I need encouragement when it comes to talking about products that I don't like, because it's a little scary. Not everybody loves it, but I also feel like I'm your girlfriend and I wanna give you the real deal of the good and the bad. So there you have it. I love you guys. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you all in tomorrow's super strange, crazy weird OMG Tuesday. It's a weird one. Come back for that and I will see you guys then. Thanks for hanging out. Mwah.